I confess that I strongly dislike Christmas movies, to put it mildly. There's just something about their schmaltzy, overly melodramatic, and annoyingly cheerful attitude that just doesn't appeal to me in the slightest. And just for clarification, when I say Christmas movies, I don't mean movies that merely take place on Christmas like Gremlins or Die Hard. I mean movies that are explicitly centered around Christmas, its customs, traditions, and the overall spirit of the holiday. I get that Christmas movies want to get you in that mindset, which on a surface level is about happiness, selflessness, and the love of family and friends. But most movies focus on this at the expense of realistic characters and plausible situations, and to a greater degree than most films do, all in an effort to get you in the holiday spirit. Most of them appeal to the lowest common denominator of storytelling, which is how you get such cinematic masterpieces like A Dog Named Christmas, Christmas with the Cranks, The Santa Claus, Santa Claus 2, Santa Claus 3, Fred Claus, Ernest Saves Christmas, A Boyfriend for Christmas, Surviving Christmas, Christmas Town, The Christmas Card, Santa Buddies, Santa Paws, Santa Paws 2, Nativity, Nativity 2, Danger in the Manger, Nativity 3, Dude Where's My Donkey, Santa Baby, Four Christmases, Deck the Halls, and the list could go on and on, but I'll stop right there. This is of course not to say that there aren't some gems, like Home Alone or Christmas Vacation, but for the most part, most Christmas movies play it safe, recycling the same formulas over and over again with slight variations, most of which typically involve really obnoxious and unlikable families that get into comically absurd situations and misunderstandings, all of which are cynically played for laughs. But there is one film that towers over all of these, and is both the greatest Christmas movie ever made, and one of the greatest films ever made. I'm of course referring to the beloved holiday classic, A Christmas Story. This tale of nine-year-old Ralphie and his quest to get a Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas is one of the quintessential American Christmas movies. It continues to air for 24 hours every Christmas on TNT and TBS, and millions of people tune in every year to either watch the movie from start to finish, or at the very least catch their favorite bits or scenes. And A Christmas Story isn't lacking in either. Despite being over 30 years old and set in the bygone era of the 40s, the film is written in such a way that anyone can relate to the humorous circumstances the Parker family find themselves in. The film is charmingly simple and universal in its appeal, hence its immense popularity. And what makes it explicitly better than the majority of Christmas movies is that it lacks the hyper-idealized representation of the holiday that infests similarly structured films. On the surface, it is just like any other movie of its kind, depicting a traditional all-American family as they attempt to maneuver their way through the rituals leading up to and on Christmas, and their reaction when things don't go quite according to plan. Countless films rely on this formula, but whereas so many of them rely on cartoonish and exaggerated antics to inspire laughs, A Christmas Story is anchored firmly in reality as seen through the eyes of a child. It kicks exaggeration out the door in favor of a subdued and down-to-earth approach. The only time the film embellishes in hyperbole is during Ralphie's fantasies, which is appropriate given his age. The rest of the film goes out of its way to subvert these fantasies. Every time Ralphie imagines a situation going one way, reality puts him in his place. The little orphan Annie Dakota Ring ends up being an advertisement for Ovaltine. He ends up getting a C plus on his theme when he was so sure he'd get an A+. Plus. The shopping mall Santa turns out to be an incredibly intimidating and surreally unnerving figure that scares children more so than delighting them. And finally, when Ralphie actually gets that Red Ryder BB gun he so desperately wanted, he almost injures himself in the exact way so many have been telling him he would. None of these are of course world-shattering revelations, but they feel like they are to an emotionally vulnerable kid like Ralphie, and they are all part of the process of growing up, hence the narration coming from the adult Ralphie speaking in hindsight. And the emphasis on disillusionment extends even beyond Ralphie's experiences. The old man wins an award expecting something amazing, like a bowling alley, only to get a ridiculous lamp in the shape of a woman's leg, which he is so emotionally invested in that he can't be disappointed. The Christmas tree the Parkers buy ends up being a misshapen mess of tinsel and lights that blows a fuse, and the turkey dinner they were looking so forward to gets devoured by the neighbor dogs, forcing them to spend their Christmas eating at a Chinese restaurant. Not exactly what you'd call a traditional Christmas dinner. And yet, despite these mishaps and disappointments, A Christmas Story remains an unabashed celebration of the holiday spirit in a way that even the biggest Scrooge can't help but enjoy. The film deconstructs the expectations of Christmas without resorting to cynicism or outright condemnation of the holiday, and that is why it continues to hold up after all these years. It presents Christmas honestly, highlighting all the tiny flaws that make this particular time of the year one that families love to pass down through the generations, and does so with a lighthearted, wholesome feel that's appropriate and entertaining for anyone. There is no slapstick, no immature lazy jokes, and no annoying characters. Instead, A Christmas Story generates laughter through the way it contrasts the idealized expectations of a child to the absurd circumstances of reality, something every single person, no matter when or where you grew up, can relate to. It reaffirms the point of Christmas, that the unconditional love of family is what's most important, and does so without the vomit-inducing sentimentality that makes so many Christmas movies so insufferable. It's a difficult line to straddle, but A Christmas Story does it effortlessly and perfectly 
perfectly, and there is no other Christmas movie like it, and perhaps there never will be again. And that is why so many continue to rewatch it again and again and again every Christmas. Yeah. <laughs>